Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new, what is up? I'm so glad you are here. I'm so glad you made it. Um, if you're not new, welcome on back to the channel, y'all. Merch is finally out. Merch is out. I repeat, merch is out. You can check my description for it, or you can go to my YouTube channel and um, look in the description of my channel. You'll see a link, and you'll see um, the merch link, okay? And if you can't find it still, you can type in complicated ENT dot com and um yeah go ahead and go crazy y'all go crazy i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm so excited i've been so happy all day long because i knew today was merch day so i was just like oh my gosh i'm so excited um and i'm really excited for today's video um we have let's talk about i'm just in a good mood i'm just in a good mood today i'm really feeling it feeling feeling positive okay let's get right to today's video first things first y'all um SZA, okay she is actually a winner of the brit award okay Okay, sister. Okay, she's um winning these awards. She has recently just won the Brit Award for International Artist. That's pretty cool to see. Um, this is amazing. Um, you know, she's been getting Brit Awards, Grammys, VMAs, all these different things in regards to her career. Um, and and you know, I just hope that her career continues to have this trajectory. Um, because you know, it will be it will suck to you know see her being on top like this and then just you know she just falls off one day and like you know never has a big moment again. You know. But you know, I don't think that she's gonna fall off. I don't. I don't really see that in her future. Okay, um, if that ha if if she does fall off, she probably gonna piss somebody off behind the damn scenes. That's that's probably the only thing that would happen um, if she does not continue to be successful. But you know, SZA has a she's slowly been building her fan base up, and that's pretty good to see. That's pretty good to see. Um, I like it. Okay, I like it a lot. Um, a lot of people are like ride or die SZA fans. Okay, so the fact that she's getting this little bit of award is good. Really good to see. But yes, yeah, let's talk about that down below. Let's move on to this next topic. Okay, congratulations. Oh, wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well. Moving on to this next topic, y'all. Um, did y'all peep the tour? Did y'all? I mean, I'm pretty sure you've seen the tour all over social media, but um, Nikki's Pink Friday 2 World Tour, Gag City, has took in, taken place yesterday. Um, and it was a, it was a success. It was a, it was a success. Okay, I like this show. I love this show. Um, I was watching it on a live stream on social media. Somebody on Instagram was um, streaming it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, but yes, I watched it on live. Um, and I didn't watch the full thing because the internet kept cutting out and they kept on ending the live. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But, you know, I get it. They was just, you know, trying to stream. And, you know, when you're in the, the venues, the internet is really, you know, wonky. So that's what happens. But I had a good time watching it live. It was really fun, really fun to see. Um, I love the show. Um, I feel like the budget is there. The production is there. Okay, everybody's wondering, where's the music videos at? Where are the music videos? Where are this? Where is that? Yeah, all that budget is into the show, okay? Um, and I'd rather have that, all right? A lot of these people um, are having these high-budget music videos, but they don't have no damn events. Okay, ain't no show to be putting no money towards. So, of course, they're spending all their money on a music video. That's all they have to show for this shit, you know what I'm saying? But um, I, I, I like the outfits. Some people said the outfits look cheap and tacky and corny. Um... No, not really. I mean, you know, the outfit that only looked like, you know, that was when she had like an oversized shirt on. But other than that, it was still cool. It was fine. Um, my favorite outfit was the outfit she came in when she introduced herself into the stage. And she had this um silver, like, you know, skin tight body type suit on. It was nice. I love that. Um, my favorite. And she performed a lot of songs that I am shocked to see on the set list. I was like, damn, she performing that song? Damn, she performing that song? I was just like shocked. I was like, oh, <laughs> she really feels like working today. She really feels like working today. Oh, okay. Um, mind you, the set is three hours long. Okay, it's a three hour long ass show. All right, so you're definitely getting your money's worth. She performed over like 40, 50 songs in one night. Yeah, damn near 50 songs one night. Um, that catalog is huge. So if anybody's complaining about a song not being played, um, I wouldn't do that because most likely there's probably a reason why the song is on the set list. It probably wouldn't fit. It probably would just didn't make sense to add. Um, so you know, hey, it is what it is. But she performed a lot of songs. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I hope she continues to perform all these songs throughout the entire um tour. Because you know, sometimes artists be cutting down some songs. If I go to my show and you know the the set list is cut in half, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna be on the floor crying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be depressed, okay? Um, but yeah, I like this show a lot. A lot of people would like, people were saying like the outfits were tacky, like I just said, but I don't think the outfits were tacky. I don't think it gave tacky, okay? Um, it was not doing too much. It was really like Nikki. It was Nikki, okay? Um, and that's the thing though with y'all. 
a lot of people be expecting her to be wearing like heavy ass metal on her body like why the fuck would she go around um with 300 pound a wardrobe on her ass and um y'all complain that she really dancing you know so you got to pick your picket okay she was moving she was dancing because she wasn't wearing no crazy costumes like that except for the first outfit okay but to be honest not many people were saying that but i've seen it quite a few people saying it okay um, now, I love the actual stage design itself. The stage design itself, like I said, it gives high budget, high quality. Um, it gives, I say about, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars for that stage. Definitely. Okay. It's not a cheap stage at all. Um, I really feel like, you know, that stage, you know, it's probably one of the best um, arena stages that I've seen in a while. Okay. It's definitely one of the best. It kind of reminds me of the weekend stage. He kind of had like a city um, in his background for his stage as well. For the after hours tour um he kind of had i went to his tour and he had the same setup kind of um but it was nothing like gag city it was two different things of course but you know i loved it i loved the um pink friday 2 stage now me personally um do i feel like the songs on the tour are cohesive and it sounds good and you know, everything is you know in order um for the most part yes i do think think so but i was shocked that monica performed you know in between the song like I didn't know she was gonna be, be performing in between her set. I thought she was gonna be opening up the show, okay. Um, but you know, she never said opener. She said show guest. So you know, pretty cool to see. Pretty cool to see. I was just so glad that she performed favorite. I was like, oh. yeah, that's Nina Ryder. I was like, oh my god, that's my song. That's my song. Okay, that's definitely my song. Okay, hands down, that's my shit. Okay. Um, she performed favorite. She also performed. What else she performed? Oh yeah, she performed. Um. Roman's Revenge, and then she had like the Roman, um, you know, like case with an. If you know what I know, if you know what I mean, you you've seen it. But it was like it was it was fire. It was fire on my side. It was fire on my side. But yeah, the tour is eating. You can't hate on the tour. You can't hate on it. I'm sorry if you hate it. You just if you a hater. No shit, you a hater. But yeah, I had a good time. I was at home watching on live. Imagine how it's gonna be in person. Imagine how it's gonna be in person. Okay, I'm gonna probably. <laughs> I'm gonna probably flip the fuck out. I'm gonna probably hop on stage my damn self. I'm gonna have a fucking uh, I'm gonna have a little mama moment. Y'all know little mama <laughs> when she got on stage and Jay Z and Alicia Keys was performing. Yeah, that's gonna be me. That's gonna be me when Bobby Dangerous come on. And then Robert like, trying to be pop up, pop up, home of the year. Yeah, I'm gonna be walking my ass on stage. Okay, um, she gonna have to call security. Okay, security. Complicated. Get your ass off that fucking stage. Okay, get off the fucking stage. What are you doing? Look at how that's mess. Okay. But yeah, um, sold out, packed to the brim, okay? That shit is, was, was packed like sardines, okay? Um, uh, and Natalie Nunn was there. She pissed me off the whole fucking night because she acted like it was a baddie, um, it was a baddie's hosting. Like, she needs to go the fuck home. Like, she thought she was Nikki. Like, calm down, bad. Natalie, okay? She up here recording herself like she's in the club section, like, like she's some A-list celebrity. Like, girl, you're doing too much, Natalie. Calm the fuck down. I know she was so mad that Nikki did not perform, even if my name was Natalie Nunn, because, yeah, I know she was so mad because she wanted her moment so bad. Like, she gave me attention whore vibe. Like, Natalie Nunn gave me attention whore. Like, girl, you a groupie. You're corny. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I can't. But she was having fun with the, um, the Galaxy Tour, but she just was craving too much attention from me at the at the um the show. Like, why are you doing all that? This is not your show. This is not your night. Okay. Walk to your two seats that you purchased. Okay. One for you, one for your long ass chin. Okay. Um, but yes, let's move on to this next topic, all right? Alrighty, uh, moving on to this next topic. Okay, sweetie. She basically um has been speaking out a lot about her recent, you know, projects and stuff, okay? And she has even recently came forward and has been has been discussing um, about her um, album sweetie says she has not released an album in nearly three years because nobody was caring about my music okay um this is really real of her to come out and say this because you know i was worried that she thought that her music was just good and like you know it's just you know i thought that's what it was but she understands that okay she understands that and i'm glad that she can you know realize that she has some self-awareness i like that for her okay um, but you know, nobody really cares about what Sweetie ha Sweet has to say. You know, her like like her message isn't clear in terms of her branding for her um career. It's like, what are you here for? Just to be pretty? Just to like, what are you doing? You know, like give the mic to somebody else. Okay, that's kind of what it is. Um, but you know, I do think that you know, Sweetie should still drop her album. Okay, 
Um, you know, just still drop it. You never know. Because I know, you know, she has some fans somewhere. Okay. Everybody has somebody who, who can listen to them. Everybody do. Okay. Um, but she needs to go ahead and drop the album and then like let that be her retirement album. Okay. Let that be her retirement album. Yep. You retire on year five. Yep. Mm-hmm. Shortest retirement ever. Okay. World <laughs> Guinness record. Okay. Let's, let's go ahead and retire. All right. Uh, but me personally, though, um, you know, if she does do an album, it's going to be full of fucking sample rules, full of full of remixed hits. It's just like, OK. OK, sweetie. OK. At this point, at this point, never mind. OK. Um, but no, I could see sweetie, um, you know, I could see her still being in the scene, but just not popular in music. You know what I mean? Like, I could see her still in the scene, but just not really, you know, making as many hits anymore. I could see her just, you know, being like a... You know, the award show presenter, you know, the award show interviewer, you know, I can see her being like, you know, just around, but not really around, if you know what I mean. Like, I see her, you know, attending the Met Gala, but like, you know, that's it, you know, maybe she's in in, in a Skims campaign, you know, I can see her around, you know, but not really doing music, okay? Um, so I don't think Sweetie's a flop, y'all. Y'all be thinking, y'all be, y'all be thinking I think she's a flop. She's not a flop. Her music is a flop. Her career is a flop. Um, it started off well, but like, you know, outside of her looks, she couldn't, she doesn't have anything, anything to back it up with. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard for her to, you know, to continue what she allegedly had because, you know, her, because what she had was built on, you know, just pretty privilege. You know, what she had was built on just being cute and having a nice body and having a pretty face and, you know dating Quavo I think also Quavo kind of has something to do with her success you know I feel like once she left Quavo her career plummeted with with the relationship okay once she left Quavo her career plummeted with the relationship okay it just went left I don't know what it is but I feel like sweetie um just you know she she's she's not a complete flop like I said because you know somebody like her you know somebody's gonna listen to sweetie but stick to the brand deals and stick to the interviews and stick to the modeling stick to that okay um, but your album not coming out because you flop, man. Mm, I'm glad you know this. I'm glad you are aware. Okay. Let's move on to this next topic. All right. All right, child. Moving on to Cardi B. Apparently, as you all know, she dropped her um, weak ass freestyle, alleged freestyle called um, Like Huh. I'm sorry. Like what? Um, and the song is doing awful on streaming platforms. Um, the shit is gasping for air right now. Um, Cardi B's song allegedly has gotten... Um, what does it got? Okay, it got 506,000 streams, allegedly debuting at number 70 on the U.S. Spotify chart. Okay, I, I say allegedly because I feel like personally, the shit is lower than that. And they just paid to get it to where it is now. Okay, um, career in shambles. Career in shambles. Okay. Now, me personally, um, it failed to enter the top 200 of Spotify Global. Okay. And me personally, I think that's embarrassing. Okay. That's embarrassing. How does your comeback single, um, you know, fail to even get top 10? Okay. Your, your, your freestyle... Okay, alleged freestyle. Um, you know, it's supposed to be, you know, your big comic era, but you got nine nine writers on it. Nine writers, um, uh flopping, barely getting number top barely getting numbers, um, number seventy on the charts. Like what the fuck is going on? Okay. Um, I don't get it. I'm so confused here. This is the most confused, um, most weirdest career I've ever witnessed in my entire life, okay? Um, you know, you throwing disses at people, but you know, your song flopping. You can't throw disses in your song flopping, boo, okay? I thought her records live in the top ten, okay? What happened to that? Oh, okay. All right, I see. Okay. Um, you know, and watch how they're going to blame it and say, oh, it's just a freestyle. It's, baby, this is not just a freestyle. This is an actual fucking song. Okay, this is an actual song, okay? Um, Atlantic is definitely paying for them fucking numbers, okay? I might sell. I don't care what you say, all right? That's just how I feel. That's how I feel, all right? Um, you know, and I feel bad because even Payola is not saving her anymore. Payola is not saving her anymore, all right? Um... And I see why she doesn't want to come out with, with new music. Because every time she come out with new music, it's flopping. Okay? Her, she know that. Okay? Um, it's just sad. It's just so sad to see. Okay? Y'all yeah, thought she was new queen of rap. But I thought queen of raps, you know, get top 10. Okay? We don't want the album. Nobody wants the album. This is all proof that nobody wants the album. The demand is not there. And it's just embarrassing. Okay? This is just so embarrassing for Cardi. And I'm not even trying to be negative or be rude or anything like that. It's just we're all seeing the downfall of Cardi right in front of our eyes. Okay? Um, you know, then you just get, you know... But this is just proof that, you know, only talent is going to win in the end. Only talent is going to win. Okay? Okay? And this, to me, I just think it's crazy how they spend so much money on her visuals for it to flop. Like, y'all spend all this budget on her visuals for the shit to flop. Like, it's crazy. You know, she cannot sell music. She only can sell an image. Okay? And um, you know, it's just a it's just a problem. It's over for her. You know, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. 
Um, but you know, we're gonna see. Maybe she can come back with a new hit single with the with the Shakira song. Maybe the Shakira song is gonna, you know, bring her back into um, you know, mainstream media. Maybe that's gonna get her back up to where she wanna be at, okay? Uh, but you know, I think the poll is calling her name again. You no know, shade, the poll is calling her name again. It's okay, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, but I just thought your records live in the top ten. I thought it lived in top ten, okay? The current trajectory is just not it's not working them out. Okay. Um yeah, and it's sad. It's so sad, all right? But, you know, hey, it is what it is. At least she's putting out her solo song because, you know, I was saying for the longest time, like, she needs to put out solo music. And I'm glad she put it out because now people can really see her ass for what it is. A floppy very fraud, okay? Um, the flow force, the beat trash, beat whack. Yep, beat is whack as fuck, I'm sorry. Um, the song is corny, okay? Um, uh, you know, it is what it is, okay? You should have dropped your album after Up and Wop. You waited too long, boo. Okay. Now we don't care no more. Okay. Now it's just flopping. Records live in the top 10. Baby, records live outside of top 10. That's what you need. You need to change that too. Okay. When you make your next song, make sure you say that. My records live outside of the top 10. Okay. Label gonna drop you real soon. That's what I'm, I feel it. I feel it in my soul. Label gonna drop her ass real soon. Yup. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm tripping. Okay. Uh, it's just, it's sad to see. It's sad to see. I thought you had fans who love you. Why aren't they buying your music? Why aren't they streaming your music? What happened to that? Oh, okay. You know, you, you know, your fans can't even afford lunch meat. So I get it. I get why they. I get why your songs flop. You know, they barely can afford lunch meat and crackers. <laughs> can't even afford a fucking lunchable. So you know, I get it. Okay. Mind you, Ice Spice is debuting top forty. Mind you, Ice Spice is debuting top thirty. A girl who just came in two years ago. I'm sorry. It's, it hasn't even been two years. It's been a year and a half. Okay sad it's so sad okay we got to get this this career investigated all right um you know this is really this is really poor y'all gave her all this hype just for it to perform like this mm -mm. it's sad okay yeah her outfits be looking cute outfits be looking tea but like i said she needs the outfits to look cute because she looks a hot ass mess okay so the budget gotta go somewhere okay um but like i said y'all cardi b may have a chance you know i'm always gonna be fair i'm always gonna give her an opportunity to you know succeed Maybe the Shakira song is going to save her career. Maybe so. Maybe so. Okay. We're going to see. We're going to see. All right. We're going to see how it goes. Um, I don't know. Though. I don't think the Shakira collab is going to save her career. I feel like the Shakira collab is going to do well because of Shakira. And none of the, none of the success is going to trickle on to Cardi. Similar to the Seven song by Lotto. Uh, I feel like the song is going to do well, but none of the success is going to trickle down to Cardi. Or, you know, like how it didn't trickle down to Lotto. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't translate to Lotto. It just... You know what's a successful hit because Lotto's still be making music now and the songs be flopping after her number one hit so it's like what the fuck happened you know um so we're gonna see how it goes we're gonna see how it goes y'all but um yes yeah let's discuss down below in the comment section what you thinking what you think what you think what you think and yes i'm being i was being completely honest just now so if you hate it mm, oh we'll cry in the corner and i'll get you some tissues actually i'll get you a paper towel bitch because you know i want you to feel it yeah all right let's move on to this next time moving on moving on to beyonce um miss carter has gotten herself a new record okay she's been getting records like left and right left right left right <laughs> um so beyonce has recently just gotten herself okay the newest record because she has surpassed mariah carey okay beyonce breaks the record for most unique airplay chart appearances for any female artist in billboard history surpassing mariah carey she has appeared on 18 different airplay charts Adult alternative airplay, adult contemporary, adult pop airplay, adult RB airplay, country airplay, dance mix show airplay, gospel airplay, land airplay, land pop airplay, land rhythm airplay, mainstream RB pop airplay, air pop airplay, RB airplay, all from my radio songs, rap airplay, rhythm radio airplay, smooth jazz airplay, and airplay. So, so she's, she's basically a radio icon, okay? Um, surpassing Mariah fucking Carey. That's crazy, okay? Um, but no shade though, Beyonce. This is good to see. Um, it shows that, you know, she is basically just out here getting into all these different genres of music. And making history in it okay um not everybody can top genres and be successful on the charts and things like that of the sort okay so that's crazy to see okay crazy to see um you know a lot of mariah carey's records begin to snatch lately no shade a lot of her records begin to snatch okay um but no shade though i feel like every single day there's a new random ass like record. tomorrow like, beyonce like, gonna make history because she blinked the most in one day like damn Okay, we get it. She's the queen. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, love, I, love, I love Beyonce. I love her down. But like, okay, like, the fuck you want me to do with this? You know, no, no, no shade. But no, um, Beyonce does make, you know, a lot of records that are, you know, broken. You know, she does break a lot of records. Um, and, you know, the Beehive always be supporting her. 
Okay, but like I've been saying, Mariah just been losing all her like her like achievements lately. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to see with that. It's just kind of crazy to see. Okay. Um, but hey, you know, we're gonna see, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Hopefully they give her ass a Grammy this year. You know, you got all these records and all these, you know, scammies, but you don't have an album of the year award. Okay, let's hope that actually, you know, the country people can give you a Grammy. Okay. But I don't think they're gonna I don't I don't think they're gonna give her um album of the year with the country album. And she's a black woman. Uh-uh. You know, y'all know y'all know the Grammys ain't doing that for her ass. The Grammys would rather eat carpet than do that shit to Beyonce. Okay. I'm for real. The Grammys would rather get their teeth and their molars and eat carpet. All right. They'd rather suck a, a jean vest through a straw than give Beyonce album of the year at the scammies. Okay. That's just, it's just their ritual. Okay. They have certain things that they do to certain artists. Okay. And some artists are completely blacklisted from the Grammy. So, you know, at least Beyonce is completely black, blacklisted. Okay. At least she's still getting some type of reward. Okay. Uh, but yes, let's talk about that down below in the comment section. Well, what's y'all opinion on fat? Let's discuss. Let's discuss. Okay. And do you all also agree that they're making like these random ass like um, achievements for Beyonce or just certain artists in general? Like, it's like every time you turn around, it's like these random achievements. Like, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm looking too deep into it. But that's something that I realized. Maybe I'm delulu. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm seeing things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what the fuck is going on? Let's move on to this next topic. All right, y'all, moving on to Dochi. Okay, apparently Dochi, um, she has gotten herself uh, her first ever platinum single. Okay, her song, What It Is, Ho, What's Up, okay, um, has launched into the category of winning, um, you know, a platinum plaque. Congratulations, boo, congratulations, okay? Um, now this song to me is cool, but I feel like she got better songs than this. Like, no shit. I think like a lot of these songs that artists blow up off of, like they be the most weakest shit I've heard. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just be it just be weak ass song. I'm not saying that her song is bad, but it's just like I feel like she got better songs than this. Okay, it was just I don't know. It just was I don't know. But yes, um, but the song is, was is definitely a club banger. And I, every time I be in the club, um, you know, I be hearing the song. You know, they they definitely wear the song out. Okay. Um, but I, I'm surprised that Persuasive was not her first platinum single, okay? I'm surprised, because I used to bump the fuck out of Persuasive. But what it is, is cute. It just it just gives, like, radio single. It just gives, like, generic-ass song, for real, for real. Um, so congratulations, Dochi, on that achievement, okay? I'm glad you got this little award and stuff. But, um, you know, why her career not where it needs to be at? Why her career not where, where it needs to be at? I feel like it's because she's dark-skinned girl. You know, I feel like she's a dark-skinned girly. And I know, like, y'all probably like, oh, we're tired of hearing this conversation. But no, for real. Like, I think she's pretty talented for the most part. I think she got it, you know. Uh, but she definitely needs to do a rebrand again. You know, I think she needs to do a rebrand or something because, like, no shade. Like, I think people just don't understand her. But then again, should she, uh, should, should she do a rebrand because people don't understand her? Or should she just keep going and let people catch up to her? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. What do y'all think she should do? What do y'all think that she should do? Um, let's discuss all this down below in the comment section. I would love to chit chat with y'all about it, okay? Um, I love comments. I love when y'all comment because I love replying. I love, you know, seeing the, the discourse, okay? And I love getting under people's skin when they think they clocking me, okay? I love it. I love the satisfaction I get. It's just like, bitch, don't play with me, okay? You think you, you, think, you, think you reading me, ho? Okay, you, 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 you can't read. All right, you can't read. You, you remember you failed that second grade reading test, okay? Remember you had a, a test on verbs and nouns. You failed the reading test, boo. Don't try to come for me, okay? All right. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to this next topic, y'all. Okay. All right, y'all. Moving on to Flo Millie. Uh, she's basically out here, um, you know, teasing people with this Scissor remix. As you all know, her song. Um, Never Lose Me is going viral on social media. Well, I don't know if it's going viral anymore because TikTok said snatch, bitch, psych. Um, you know, TikTok been snatching everybody's shit. I'm like, damn. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I feel bad for everybody who rely on TikTok to get hit. That's sad. Um, but um, Flo Millie basically comes out and she's basically saying, okay, um, I'm not going to release the Scissor remix because I know how y'all get, okay? So she's basically going to wait until she drops her album to drop the Never Lose Me um, scissor remix, okay, because she's scared that her album will flop without Scissor's help, okay. And unfortunately, sweetie, this is fucking true. This is very true. But I don't know. I think it's kind of dumb. I think you should release it before you drop the album because then the Never Lose Me song will be way bigger 
okay? And, all right, I think that it just makes more sense because you have more promotion before the album comes out instead of waiting to use Scissor's ass for a hit. That's weird. That's fucking weird, okay? Um, but I get it, you know, she feel like people don't care about her outside of her, a feature of a big artist. And I get it. I, you know, it's sad that it's like that. It's sad. But no shade. You need to drop it now because eventually the song's going to die out. Well, the song will die out. And then nobody would go fuck about a scissor feature on your dead song. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's best for you to drop the feature now, Flo Millie. And let's not gatekeep a song because you want to hit. Don't do that weird one. You already have hit. Just drop the song now, okay? Because eventually, like I say, in this music industry, you're hot one day and the next you're not, okay? You need to always be pumping out shit. Like, like you know, you got to always just pump out stuff. Unless you are a big artist who doesn't have to maintain that constant release schedule right like for example the icons don't have to release every single year rihanna she's popping and she ain't released shit in eight years okay she got she got multi million dollars yesterday for a performance and she ain't dropped music in years because she has built herself up to that status flamily need to be dropping music every single week every month damn near because you're not popping yet like you like yes she's popular but she's not popping like she doesn't have like a major like big fan base or like a major career yet okay so i think she needs to go ahead and you know drop the remix yeah drop the song but what you scared for <laughs> what you scared for okay um but yes y'all what is your opinion on all that let's discuss let's discuss down below in the comment section i would love to hear what you have to say um that wraps up today's video the merch is out the merch is out like i said check the description for the link and you can also go to my youtube channel description and there's a link there as well or you can go into your um, phone type in complicated ent.com yes 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 y'all um i'm excited like i said i'm so excited today today's been a really good day but yes y'all thank you so much for watching to the end of this video i really appreciate you um for standing here for the entire um you know duration of the video you know like i said the videos are getting pretty long the videos are getting long as hell okay longer than natty nun's chin all right so yes y'all all right i'm gonna see y'all next video be safe